Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. I've got a very nice looking set of darts here for review and these are from the recent Unicorn 2024 launch and this is the Gary Anderson Duo Darts. A nice dual gold and blue tie coating on the barrels. So let's check them out. I'm reviewing the 21 gram version, the 90% tungsten, you can also get them in 23 gram in steel tip and 18 and 20 gram in soft tip but when I first checked them on the retail sites they were priced at £62.95 and then just recently they seem to have jumped to £79.95 so I haven't got a clue what's going on there unless somebody priced them up wrong. So as you can see it comes in this cardboard packaging and you got the blue and gold and I think that may be referring to the past World Championship editions. I think they were in blue for the 2015 and gold for the 2016 set. Inside you've got a little plastic tray, a little point holder holding everything in place and the darts come fit with the Unicorn Clear Gripper Medium Stems and the Gary Anderson Duo Ultrafly flights. The darts fit with the silver for loot points, and I'm not 100% sure, but I don't know, it could be just an optical illusion, but it almost looks like it's slightly front weighted. Maybe just the light playing tricks, but I haven't got the calipers on them yet to properly measure, but kind of hard to tell whether it's a parallel or just slightly tapered but I'll find that out as soon as I get the calipers on but a very nice looking dart I do like the two contrasting colours there the gold tie and the blue tie and it's got the two silvery rings there for his two world championship wins and quite a, a nice grippy section on the front there with this wide spaced ring grip and then you've got the smooth band in the middle, so dreaded smooth section for someone. <laughs> That's got the Unicorn logo and the Anderson signature. And then on the rear, eh, I think it's a very fine, let's have another look. Can I was tell looking through the camera. It looks a very fine micro shark grip. So you're still getting a nice bit of grip there as well. But looks a nice start and the unicorn clear gripper stems and the Gary Anderson dual ultra fly flights so you've got a tapered nose and then the front half is made of this widely spaced thin ring grip with flat wide grooves and obviously you've got the two silvery sections as I mentioned before signifying Gary Anderson's world championship wins but then the rest of it has got the gold tie and then you got the dreaded smooth section so for somebody it may be in the wrong spot for you and then on the rear half it's got a fine kind of like micro shark style grip with the blue tie coating on and then a smooth section on the very end of the barrel so that's the super close look at the unicorn Gary Anderson Dual darts. The darts fit with 30mm volute points. You've got a tapered nose that's smooth 6mm, and then you've got this wide space thin ring grip with the gold tie that's 17.5mm. A smooth section with the logos on that's 5mm. On the rear, it's a blue tie cotton with the mini shark style grip that's 14mm, and then a smooth section on the end of the barrel 5.5mm, length 48mm, wider 6.7mm. Twenty one point nineteen grams. Twenty one point two two grams. And twenty one point two four grams. Full set up twenty two point nine four grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Probably around about 7 out of 10 for the front grip. Oh well, 
this is the only one in the 20. <laughs> Got to be thankful for small mercies. It's <laughs> Treble 5 jump in. I finally got a treble 20. It's got quite a subtle front balance. Uh, when I first looked at them, I thought they were straight, but I mean, I do have quite bad astigmatism, so when it's only a subtle change in the thickness, it's hard for me to tell, but when I measured them with the calipers, definitely thicker on the front section. So for a front gripper like me, the balance is quite subtle, but it's it's still nice and preferred. Um, the only thing is, I know the 21 gram, but they actually feel even lighter than that. So maybe I'd be better with the treble one champion. Maybe I'd be better with the um, 23 gram version. Got a good level of grip on the front half. It's probably just down to the fact that the rings are widely spaced, but they're not like a sharp edged ring. Um, they look as if they've got a kind of a slight chamfer to them, so they don't stick in the, the, the skin like it might do on some rings. It releases easy enough. Although it still might be too, too grippy for some, but it's just about right for what I like. I made sure I got that two in. Pity the first one didn't go in. <laughs> but yeah, it's got quite a nice balance for me, but I still think I might have been better with the slightly heavier barrel. Um, I don't know, I think that smooth section is around the mid part, so I'll just try it on the, the middle section, which again, I think is on the DSS, so <laughs> if that's where you're gripping you, and you want some grip, then you might be out of luck, but it, it depends on how your fingers like rest on the dart, you might still get enough grip on the other part. But I think what I'm finding there is I'm catching it, because like I say, it is quite a widely spaced Oh, I didn't even throw it properly then. <laughs> I'll do that again. Get the flight back on. I'll have another throw from the mid part, but but yeah, because it's quite a widely spaced ring grip, it might depend on how your skin catches it because the grooves are fairly deep. But probably for that reason may not be that good for a mid gripper. Unless you like a smooth section, that is. But yeah, it can't really get quite settled with the grip there. So I'll try the rear section, which is a fairly shallow shark style grip. And it doesn't actually feel as grippy as I first thought that. But anyway. There's at least a little bit of grip there if you like to hold it on the rear. Didn't fly too bad there from the rear. Didn't get any 20s like. Go on, I'll just have one more throw. Looks like it's a five day. <laughs> Overcompensated. <sighs> well, I can't throw them from the rear. I didn't notice, it, noticed a bit of spiraling though because with it being a front weighted dart, it's probably one of them darts for rear grippers that like to spread the fingers a little bit. When I'm holding it like that, it just I can't get it right, but maybe some people will. But like a lot of darts, if you spend more time with them, then you will get the hang of them. But if you're a natural rear gripper and you like a slightly front weighted style, you're getting some grip there, but I think definitely for front grippers, you're getting the best of the grip and also the best of the balance. So it may be one that is gonna suit front grippers the most.
Ah, oh. one above the wire slightly, and the three. I only got the two. I don't know where that is. All them graphics on the, <laughs> the side there. This makes my eyes go funny. It's too bright. There's two. A wrong double. Uh, and it was kind of above in the corner. <laughs> So that's two. There's three. Mainly the others not. There's five. There's six. in the last start seven four points Twenty six points. Right, yeah, right. Hello, Hi. Right, get in. Come here, Oz. Thirty-one. Like I say, I got interrupted by somebody knocking on the door, so it completely messed up my rhythm, and I was doing quite good, I think. I think I got thirty-one. I don't know. Ah, oh, three points. Fifty points should have done better. Two twenty fives, fifty points. Yes. Two balls eyes. That's 150 after six starts.
125, that's 175 after nine darts. Ah, 175 after 12, last three. Two bullseyes again, 275. Right, doubles, one to ball. I got seven and 30 darts at 20. I got 31, I think it was. Yeah, 31, should have done better than that. Probably would have done if I wasn't interrupted. And 180 around the clock, got 50. And on the balls, I got 275 again. So there you go, that's the Gary Anderson Duo darts. Um, I like the colour of them, it's very nice uh, contrast in between the gold and the blue. Um, even though, you know, green is my favourite colour. But it's got quite a nice front weighted feel, so for, I think for front grippers, it's probably going to be the best, because you're getting the best of the grip and the best of the balance. Um, but I think I still might get a set in 23, just to see how they go, because at one point I was getting into a good rhythm with them and then my brother-in-law came to pick up Ozzy, Rocky's brother, and that just completely threw me. I thought I was going to do all right on the 30 at 20. I don't even know what I got because I think I messed up the scores after that and didn't do too bad on the balls there. So, yeah, it might be worth me getting the 23. But I think for rear grippers, if you like a front weighted style, it might be worth a look but it's definitely more grippy on the front half so if you're a front gripper i'd say definitely give them a try if you like that kind of a shape barrel so i'll leave you with the gallery and i'll see you on the next one happy darting